Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. As usual, it's me Constantine and today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out a brand new game that has just been released and this one is going to be a very special one. Uh, this game is called The Spirit and the Mouse and it is going to be very, very cute. I have actually fallen in love with this little creature and I was really, really excited to actually jump into it and uh, play with it a little bit and explore this gorgeous little world here. Now, uh, we did play games like this one in the past such as Stray, but of course in that one we played as a cat. In this one, we're going to be playing as a mouse and to be honest, I've never played a game as a mouse mouse before so I'm quite intrigued so without further ado guys before we jump into this one quick moment here to thank the publisher for providing a review copy to share the game with you all and as usual if you guys are interested in a game you want to grab for yourselves the link is down below in the description as I always share for all the games that are featured on this channel and with that being said sit back everybody relax and uh let's just jump straight in let's do this Oh, man, I'm really gonna love this. Our story begins on a cold, rainy night in the quaint village of saint Clair. I'm guessing this is somewhere in France, right? All the villagers shelter in their warm homes, hiding from the ominous storm looming overhead. Not everyone was so fortunate, though, as to be warm and dry this night. Oh god, look at the cats! <laughs> but of course, we're not going to be playing as the cat this time. This time, we're going to be playing with a mouse. <laughs> Man, that cat really wants the mouse, eh? Aw, oh, poor guy. It has been a long night for this little mouse. Oh man, he's so cute. Look at these eyes. <laughs> Alone in the village, unaware of her presence, the mouse found herself searching for a feeling of purpose. But unbeknownst, I've never heard that word before, but unbeknownst to her, life was about to take a different uh, story, I guess? I didn't manage to read that, but look at that! They are playing as a mouse! No freaking way, dude! I have never played a game as a mouse! But you guys know me, whenever there's a game where you play with a tiny character in a really huge world, count me in. I've always loved these type of games, and uh, this is definitely going to be a special one. Oh my god, this feels so good. Those damn lights! What's happening? The electricity keeps cutting out. I really didn't need this today. Hmm. The mouse saw unhappy humans and logged to help. But she was just a simple mouse. What could she do? Well, I guess we're just about to become a super mouse. <laughs> to climb small ledges, walk towards them. Oh, that is so cool that Omar actually does it. Hmm. Alright, let's see what this is all about. What in the world? Why didn't I open the fridge? The doorbell rings? Hmm, what's wrong with this place? That thunderstorm from earlier must have messed with the electricity. It makes this place feel haunted. If only the humans had a little help from someone with their problems, the mouse thought, surely they would be happier. Right, we gotta press jump in order to uh, climb higher ledges, I guess, just like that. There we go. Press A in your lattice to climb on. Oh, like this one? Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> oh, the way we're climbing. Love it. Can I also climb down? Oh, yes, we can. I don't know if there's gonna be fall damage, though, so I gotta pay attention. I do see that we have a map and a journal that we can explore. So let's just try it out. So this is the journal. We have no journal yet. And this is the map, but we have no map unlocked just yet. Ugh, it's raining again. I just hung out of my clothes to dry. I better reel my laundry before it gets soaked. Oh! Ugh, that old window is stuck. What is that? Oh, the wind blew it away. No, my favorite scarf. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna have to bring it back though. Is this gonna be my, my mission, I wonder? The thing is, it went all the way up there, though. Am I gonna be able to bring it back? Seriously? The mouse saw what happened and thought. Hmm, she could climb the big pole and bring back the piece of cloth. Why is this mouse so friendly all of a sudden? This was her chance. Tonight, she could finally make a difference for someone. 
Tonight she will bring even a little happiness to Saint Clair. Seriously, Mouse, come on, buddy. All right, well, I guess we got ourselves our first mission inside South Square, Santa Clair Town Hall. I'm loving the game, though. This is just so different. I was definitely not expecting the mouse uh, to want to help out the humans like this. I mean, I don't really know exactly what I was expecting out of this game. Uh, I know it's going to have a lot of puzzles we're going to have to solve and everything, but having a friendly mouse like this, trying to sell the humans, trying to uh, help up the, the humans, I definitely did not think that's going to be a thing. The lightning rod. Retrieve the scarf. Okay. I guess we will have to do just that. <laughs> oh man, but look at this tiny guy though. Alright, well in that case, uh, let's try to figure this out. Oh, we can squeak? I <laughs> uh, love it. Look at him. Man, this is the cutest thing ever. All right, so apparently I got to climb all... Oh, oh my god, how are we going to be able to do that, though? Hmm, what about these things? Why do they light up like that? Yeah, I got no clue. Can I jump up? Oh, we can! Yeah, I cannot push or anything, right? So we got to have to figure it out. Uh, I think we're going to probably be able to... Hmm, climb these poles? No, they're all wet. Definitely cannot do that. How can I even climb up here then? Oh, you know what? I think I can actually climb on the cables, yeah. And I do see a cable over here. Right? Uh, that's a no. Hmm. What about these boxes? Nothing I can do with them. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused about what I'm supposed to do here, to be honest. I mean, I know that I gotta climb up. That is definitely a mission that I gotta do. I think I'm probably supposed to walk on these cables, yeah. Well, in order to walk on the cables, I think I'm probably supposed to go back up here. <laughs> uh, the way he climbs the uh, stairs, that is so lovely. But I cannot do that jump, though. Uh, I'm a little bit confused. Huh. I don't think I unlocked any powers at the moment. I mean, of course I didn't because I barely just started playing the game. Oh, I think I see how I gotta go. Yeah, never mind. I gotta go through here and climb this. Here we go. Oh, so the thing we're actually climbing on, that's a lightning rod. Which probably that's gonna be the way I'm gonna get my superpower. If you can call it that. And I know it sounds crazy to have the mouse having a superpower, but you guys are going to see how uh, amazing this is going to be. I've seen the mechanics in the trailer, and uh, I fell in love with it. I know this is definitely going to be a really, really awesome uh, game to play for sure. I absolutely loved when I played uh, Stray, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this one as much. Are you going to be able to climb that, buddy? I don't know. Hopefully you are. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. I love it. Oh, he is climbing it. Never mind. Look at this guy. I have a feeling I'm going to get shocked by the lightning. I am definitely going to get struck by the lightning. Oh god. How are you going to even carry that, buddy? Oh no, we are gonna get shocked. You gotta pay attention, buddy. I mean, that's fine because we are gonna get superpowers. <laughs> Don't break it now. He just wants to take it off, but uh, apparently he cannot really do it. And this storm is looking horrible. What the heck? Oh my god. What? Yep, it's happening. It's happening. Whoa. Poor little mouse. It kind of feels like we're in heaven right now, to be honest. <laughs>
Oh no. Oh! I was just about to say we're dead, but look at that. Hey! Hello? You, down there. This is not the time to sleep. Wake up. I mean, look at us. We changed. Whoa, we look amazing. <laughs> He's checking himself out. Ah, finally. I thought you were dead. Or worse, ignore me. It looks like the impact charged you with electric energy. My energy. Come up here to the lightning rod. We have to talk. Don't waste time scaling up again. Just use the electric wire box over there. Get close to the box and shock it. You have my powers. You might as well use them. <laughs> and hurry up. On the way, look at that. The spirit and the mouse. Quest started. Awesome. So, of course, our quest is to climb up there. And apparently, I gotta go next to it. Excuse me. Where are you going? Check that wire. Climb up. You're not a simple mouse anymore. And you have a responsibility to fix this. Wait, how do we... How do I do it? Oh, I gotta get close to it. There we go. <laughs> Oh man, this is amazing. So apparently whenever you're seeing these cables, we are going to be able to use them to traverse the world faster. Hmm, adequate. Most people can't handle their first wire and now I'm not totally toast or end up totally toasty. Whatever prompted you to climb up here the first time doesn't matter. What matters is you inconvenienced me. Because of you, I am stuck inside the lion rods. Oh, this is so humiliating. So come back here and shock it to free me. Okay, now what about this scarf? Is the scarf up there anymore or did it actually went somewhere else? Somewhere else actually. And I just noticed... Huh. Oh my god, there's gonna be 137 light bulbs that we gotta find this place. Jeez Louise, dude, there's gonna be so many collectibles we're gonna have to find. And apparently there's another one back there. How do you even grab that? Hmm. I really wanna grab me that one to be honest, but I don't know how to do it. All right, anyway, let me just have a chat with this one. Or more like, release it. And see what this is. Come on, charge up. <laughs> oh, the face on the, on the uh, mouse, though. <laughs> Look at him hiding. Whoa. So is this the lightning that we just freed up? I think it is. It looks so weird. <laughs> it also has a little bit of hair there and everything. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Well, I guess he's the reason we got superpowers now. You. You. <laughs> what? Do you have the faintest idea what he just did? Why did he just climb a lightning rod like this? In the middle of the thunderstorm? Did you have a death wish? And why did you have to choose today of all days? Me and my cursed luck. Ah, why oh why? Did they think it was a good idea to send me in the pitiful village? And you, uh, are you a mortal creature? What are you, some kind of a rat? <laughs> a mouse? Oh, of course. Clearly a crucial distinction. Pardon me. You don't get it, do you? Allow me to explain. My name is Lumion. I am a spirit guardian. The other guardians and I are sent around the world to help humans. Humans don't know any of it though. Without our assistance, humans will truly be helpless. But what else can we do? Someone has to help them. But our collision was so violent and transferred most of my wondrous powers to you. Now I'm stuck on this rod and cannot fulfill my duty. A spirit guardian such as myself stuck on earth? This is humiliating, and all your fault. You need to take responsibility and help me then. I can't believe I need to rely on a mortal creature, but I have no choice. Park up those big ears. Fortunately, this was a routine spirit guardian job. The assignment was to check the Saint Claire. We had reports of an alarming number of troubled villagers. This simple job was very important to the maker. It's only natural. You have to complete this task now. Once you help a human, they'll generate excess happiness. Enough of that, and I can leave. Did you understand any of that? I hate to repeat myself. <laughs> I did, I guess. Good, good. Well, now start going to the eastern part of St. Clair. I can't sense trouble humans around there. Head to the gate down there. You can't miss it. I suppose since you got some of my powers, you might as well use them. Wisely, mind you. I will send you more information once you reach East Street. Now, off you go! Don't come back here until you've got at least one piece of happiness. 
I can't spend all the night on Earth, so you better be quick. <laughs> there we go. And of course, we now have a quest. This one, the spirit and the mouse. A mysterious spirit fell from the sky during their fall. They collide with the mouse. The impact transfer their powers into the small rodents. Get a happiness by assisting the human in need of help. Hmm. Now, can I shock these things? Ah, so whenever I'm shocking these things, I'm getting points out of them. Um, look at that. So apparently all these objects that have a bit of a... Um, oh, I cannot get this one though. Uh, all these objects that have a little bit of metal, I can actually shock them. And I'm getting hap uh, something return. Now how do I get there though? Hmm. This is quite annoying because I want to climb up here. Jump up there? That's not possible though. Hmm. It's quite annoying. Because I know there is a little bit of a, a collectible over there that I gotta grab, but I have no idea how to pass by this. <laughs> it's so funny how he does it though. Alright, what about if I... Oh, I cannot climb up there, never mind. What if I try to climb up here? Uh, I cannot climb on these ones. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to figure it out eventually, eh? Yeah, definitely gonna have to figure it out. Well, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we are gonna be able to come back to these locations multiple times. And uh, collect more collectibles. But in the meantime... Let's just see here. I mean, look at that. There's one on that side. Which means I could probably get down from here. Hopefully without taking any damage, though. <laughs> uh, you can fall down if you want to. That is so cool. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be any fall damage, but I got to pay attention. Oh, look at that. So we are shocking these and collecting lightning bolts. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with these lightning bolts, though. But I'm quite curious to see eventually what's going to give me. Interesting. So everything that has a piece of metal, we can actually shock by the looks of it. What about back here? Ooh, look at that! Oh man, these secrets are gonna be hiding everywhere. And you guys know that I'm a completionist and I love collecting everything that I can. But uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose a few of them. Because finding everything in a game like this is not gonna be easy as developers really tend to hide stuff everywhere. Alright, we got 6 out of 100. That is not bad. Look at that, we can even shock these things, the light thingies. Are you kidding me? Oh! This one is big. Hold up. There we go. Energy Seeker. Well, I'm kind of enjoying this though. I've always enjoyed games like this where you gotta go ahead and collect stuff. And this is definitely gonna provide for sure. Uh, did I shock this already? Yes, I did. Alright. Um, hmm. How do I climb up here? I mean, look at this. We already have 61 lightning bolts collected. Definitely cannot get to that one, though. I can kind of hear some, like, crystal around here somewhere. But what I want is this bulb. And also, let's see if there's anything back here. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Why can I climb back up? Why oh, I can. Yes, never mind. No, no, no. Climb back up, buddy. I <laughs> uh, kind of like it how he's hanging on the ledge sometimes. I have a feeling all these uh, light bulbs that we're collecting, they're probably going to be used as a uh, upgrade thingy eventually. Yeah, I don't know for sure, but we are going to have to see. Uh, for now, let me collect as much as I can. Can I collect the one at the top? No. But I have a feeling there has to be a way to get past these fences at one point. I just don't exactly know how to do it, right? Although I think I know how to get back there, if I'm not mistaken. I gotta use like a cable. There we go. Awesome. Light bulb collector. Yes, I am. You know I'm gonna try to collect all the light bulbs that I can find. Look at that. Another one hiding back here. We got 10 already. Not bad. Alright, I think I got everything so far. At least everything that I could have gotten. Actually, hold up. Never mind. You can also go through this crack over here. 
and collect even more. There you go, buddy. And break these up. Here we go. Awesome. And ultimately, we got this one over here. All right, I think I've gotten everything that I could have gotten, to be honest. Um. Oh, never mind. You can also shuck those lights. Oh, I get it now. Not bad. All right, let's get out of here. Now, let me make my way towards the mission. Uh, but of course, before I make my way to the, towards the mission, I also have to try to climb back up again. Because I feel like we also have to grab that bulb over there. And I know exactly how to do it. So, let me go through this thing. Man, I noticed that we already have a hundred. A hundred light bolts. But, that is quite a lot. Uh, so we gotta go through here. Here. Drop down. And click this one. There we go. Awesome, we got 16 already. Perfect. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like fall damage, but you really have to fall uh, down from uh, a really, really high spot, I guess. Oh man, this is really fun. Ooh, look at that. Secrets. <laughs> so, let me go through here. So if I use my... Whoa, you can break those things apart, seriously? Not bad. Look at this area. This game is all about exploration, exploration and also solving puzzles. And I'm definitely down for these type of games for sure. Ever since I saw this game, the trailer of it and the gameplays provided by developers, I knew that I would love this. East Street, residential area. Ah, oh, look at that, a human as well. In the shop there, in the cafe. Chez Michel. <laughs> Mouse? It's me, Lumion. Can you hear me? Yes? Thanks for my wondrous powers that you currently have most of, we can communicate across distances. This is your first time helping humans as a spirit guardian, but, fortu but fortunately, I'm here to show you the way. Don't get used to it though, I won't hold your paw every step of the way. See that building with the bright windows? They are humans inside. A spirit guardian duty is to help the troubled humans of this world, so we can sense their emotions. These humans are in need of help. Get close to them and you'll be able to overhear their conversation. And don't worry, they won't be able to see you as it's dark outside. Now go, go on, scoot, be quick about it. Don't have all night. <laughs> Hold up, buddy. I want to shock this, but apparently we cannot. Uh, jumping up there to grab that thing, I cannot. Uh, shocking this post box, it's not possible. Thank you very much. Ah, so whenever they need a help, apparently that sign is red. I get it now. Hold up, look at that, another bulb. Man. Pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to collect all these uh, light bulbs. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of them. And it's pretty easy to miss a few. Alright, let's see what these guys are gonna be saying. Mm. Clients are gone, tables are clean. I can finally watch my TV show. The new season premiere is airing tonight. Every week you say the same thing, monsieur. Even though this show is dull. Have you ever missed one episode? Oh, Louise, I've never missed any of them since the show started airing eight years ago. Oh gosh, 10 minutes left? It's going to be so great. Let's turn on the TV. I don't think it's gonna work, so that's probably gonna be my mission to fix it. What? No, not now. What's mm. happening? Ah, uh, that's bad luck, monsieur. Maybe the power outage from earlier caused a problem? The light might have struck the antenna on the roof. It already happened once. I fear that it's too late to call the electrician, monsieur. There is nothing you can do until tomorrow. I can't even go up there and repair myself. We lost the keys to the roof weeks ago. With our antenna running properly, the TV will not be operating. Ooh. But Louise, I can't miss the show. I watch every single premiere. Why did it have to happen tonight? Well, you could just watch a recording of it tomorrow, monsieur. You'll never understand. By the way, why are you still working this late? I told you to go home a long time ago. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I had some glasses that needed deep cleaning before tomorrow. Very urgent stuff, monsieur. 
Well, if you say so, Louise. Ooh. That doesn't solve how I cannot watch the show tonight. What can I do? Did you get that mouse? Once we solve the troubles, the happiness, the generator will help me get my strength back. The humans are mostly right. The antenna might be faulty, but something else is going up there. Hmm, that's quite a climb though. How do you mortal creatures store rates scurrying around? At the top, you will find the antenna and a very special device. Why am I handling a simple job like this? They should have already fixed all that. I swear on the maker, those little kiblings never get anything done. Enough dawdling. Climb up to the rooftop above the cafe to find the antenna. Shoo! <laughs> the old man and the TV. There we go. Oh, man, this game is really special, guys. I'm currently loving this so far. All right, let me shock this one real fast. Let me try to collect as much stuff as I can here. Look at that, another bulb. Awesome. Now, why can't I use this one though? It's locked from the other side. Hmm, interesting. So apparently there is a chance for uh, these stuff that I'm trying to collect here. Or more like the gates that I'm trying to go through, right? The fast travel devices to be locked sometimes. And just where are you going? We don't have time for that. You need to climb to the rooftop to the cafe. I will tell you more about your task once you get up there. Please show me you have more sense and speed that kibble in. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So apparently he doesn't want me to go up there. Now, how am I going to climb though? Oh, maybe I can I use the vines to climb up? I mean... I don't know if that's even possible though. Hold up, let me climb up here. Let me try to figure this out. Press X to shock glowing objects. Yeah, I know. I've already been doing it. It's apparently everything that has metal on it, it's gonna give me points. Now, climb up here. Shock this. Take it. Uh, go down here to grab the bulb. There we go. We have 21 already. Awesome. Of course, still a long way to go until I'm gonna get the 100 and whatever it was. Uh, I see a bulb over there, but I cannot get to it. <laughs> oh man, the puzzles. I love it. This is just so epic. The way we're gonna be kept on climbing with the mouse like this. Wait, can I not shock this antenna? I cannot know. But look at that, we already make it, made it to where we had to go to fix this up. And also, open this up. There we go, buddy. Now, how do I fix it? After close inspection, there's a label East Antenna. Do you want to turn it on? Yes! Malfunction. 25 energy required to boot. Ah, feed me. So that's why I'm collecting all this energy. Look at that. And thankfully, we already have enough. Yum. <laughs> Starting boot sequence. 50%. 90%. 98%. Ah, oh, it's probably gonna break. Hello world! <laughs> Access denied. Unauthorized personnel detected. Rodents are not registered in the Spirit Guardian database. Updating database. New personnel added to the database. Name? No. Role? Interim Spirit Guardian. Each antenna, cabin box not functioning at the moment. Uh, cannot be powered. Kiblings are currently missing. Kiblings are part of the Kibling box, necessary for power reboots. Wait, so Kiblings are the things that I'm collecting? The light bulbs? Can you find and bring me back Kiblings? Help required and appreciated. Yes. Thank you, Rodan. Insert appreciation message. Activate Kibling tracking system. Maybe it's not. Maybe Kibling is something else, actually. Initializing KTS. Aha. Uh -huh. KTS activated. Disabling Kibling Camouflage. Ah, so these are the Kiblings. Never mind. Oh my god, look at them. They're so cool. If you need assistance to locate Kiblings, we provide Kibling tracking services. Pick to us for help. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, this is epic. Mouse? Now that you've woken up the Kibling box, you have to look for the Kiblings. Try not to do a poor job and damage my reputation, will ya? I must rest. Return to the South Square when you collected happiness. Oh man, I'm currently already loving the game to be honest. This is just really epic. And look at that, here's our first Kipling. Hmm. What can I do? <laughs> what, what are you doing buddy? That thunderstorm sure was strong. Huh. 
Hello? Can you see me? Yes? Ah! How is that possible? The Kibling Camouflage should be working. Only Spilly Guardians can command the Kibling Box. How could a simple mouse? Hmm... What? Lumin is here? And you are his assistant? How did that happen? <laughs> I see. That's definitely a tricky situation. But I can definitely help. I will send a message to Kiblings in town experiencing this situation. That way, they will be expecting you. Us Kiblings usually stay in our side Kibling box and generate energy. But sometimes, like tonight, we get out in the wild. We may not uh, be the brightest, but the well-being of humans is our top priority. We love to perform good deeds. Since you're tonight's Spirit Guardian, I'll tell you how you can help me. My name is Kikibull, by the way. Nice to meet you. I make sure the antenna and other related devices function properly. It's some kind of a signal master, if you will. I'm trying to fix the main antenna right here. Do you think you can assist me? Sure. Marvelous! The big antenna broadcasts the TV signal to all the same Dal Claire, which means right now, no entertainment for everyone. This is particularly awful because tonight is the season premiere of my favorite TV show. Anne is about to announce to Sebastian that she's John's long lost child. Meanwhile, Sebastian is going to confess his love to em Emily. Oh, do you even know what a TV show is? Ah, uh, from here I can reboot all the satellite dishes motors. Check this out. Hmm. Ah, there we go, so he activated the antennas. Just chuck those satellite dishes to have them pointed towards the big antenna. I'll be there calibrating the signal. Come back to me once you have positioned three of them. Oh, wait! Uh, use this wire to go down quickly. Good luck, mouse. Awesome! Alright, so apparently, now we know that in order to rotate those uh, antennas that I previously wanted to do, all I gotta do is just come here. And there we go, there's one. Awesome! 